all right, I'll try this just because I've never had it. And I was like, oh, shoot, this is looking really good. It's amazing. I love it. It's my favorite topic, pizza. Oh. Maybe not my favorite topic, but it's like. Game one, getting into it. See, the thing is with your ninja is that whenever he plays against heavies, it's just pure combo food. Like, it, out one nair, you're pretty much guaranteed at least good to keep them. I think I see that fully charged neutral B from Greninja always poke shields. Shields. Or at least heavy shield. Oh, you did. That's how he got oh, him before last time, too. He took three stops like that last game. Last time they played. Cool. Jake Grant's doing good this time. Not letting yeah. a big buffalo take away. Thing you'll see him, a thing you'll see him go for a lot is a jump read with fair and just doing one down tilt and then charging his forward smash, waiting for like a jump option. I mean, that's definitely one way to play for Ninja. Mm -hmm. Stage back again? No. Nice. Wow! Yeah. If you get Greninja far enough and down enough, which Donkey Kong is so good and you can actually have a really time edge guarding him because of the way that up B works. Oh, he got... Oh, but he's gonna SD off that. What are you saying? Uh, if you get Greninja Ninja down and enough away from stage, like Donkey Kong is so good at doing any time he gets a grab, he has a really easy time edge guarding like that. Again. Stage fight? No, corner again. Mm hmm. He's gonna tech that every time, so it's just better for him to get him at that position. Alright, I'm ready for the loser's semifinal goodness. It looks like this match oh. is pretty close. Yeah. And he might be dead. Oh, that was a good Oh, no, he got greedy and got footstool. Wow. Yeah. Oh, and the D bag! DK. Uh, Big Buffalo kept putting him off way down deep. Yeah. Like. I went to school there for a semester. Um, I went to Island College. Oh, nice. I'm very familiar with the new Rochelle. I live here, so me too. Oh, he just barely doesn't make it back. Unfortunately. I was going for that up a lot. And Grant's doing a really good job of keeping DK out. Between these mm. back airs and just oh, carry him so far off, too. Didn't want that. Back guys are brutal. Stalling out with the shuriken. Mm. That's a real good way to get down. Buffalo does that a lot. Just like random neutral bees, uh, up bees in a uh, neutral. Yeah, and it's not the fastest move out of shield, so I do wonder why. <laughs> that was a great Check. mix up. Nobody has teched that yet. Yeah. In all the time to watch. He knew Jay Grant was more concerned about mashing out of that than actually checking if he hit the wall. That was a great mix up. So maybe going with the DI too, helping him put DI in the corner. Oh, Ooh, wow. falls out of it. I don't know if that was oh. SDI or just spacing. For real a little bit Oh, he might be dead here. For back here? Ooh, oh, not quite. Oh, oh we'll Grievous down there though. Won't kill. Yeah, for heavy terrifying. sticks around 190. Oh, up here wow. Ooh. That is dragging down with those back airs and get some real early kills since DK has almost no vertical recovery. Yeah, it's all horizontal. Dead. Oh, can you get the early kill? Yeah, no corner. Wow. Well, he was at 104. Big Buffalo's doing a really good job of mixing up what option he's going to choose with the cargo throw off stage, too. Mm -hmm. There, he caught him DI eyeing for the other one. Oh, oh, no! That's unfortunate. That back air drag down again. I don't know if, whether or not he knows that 